many ways to make lace. Um, today I'm going to try to emulate the bobbin lace technique, which uh, is used in this antique piece of lace. These are the materials I needed. I made a, a giant pin cushion for uh, making lace. So I just used sawdust and some fabric for that. The first step is to determine whether the thread being used is S-shaped or Z-shaped. The thread I used is S-shaped. Um, you have to wind this S-shaped thread counterclockwise in order to maintain the integrity of the thread. Um, if it were Z-shaped, uh, you would wind it clockwise. This looping is called a half hitch. Um, this helps you to uh, release thread as you're creating the lace while still keeping it on the bobbin. And here's an example of how the thread releases using the half hitch. And the bobbins are typically uh, made in pairs. And he these are all the pairs I'll be using. And this is, um, I've gotten pretty far in the pattern here. Uh, this part of the pattern shows a fair bit of the techniques I've learned. Here I'm twisting the green threads and then I am intersecting them with the red threads. This is using a half stitch which uh, is made of what's called crosses and twists, which is pretty much the main movement you'll need to know when you're creating bobbin lace. And pinning pretty much at every stitch almost. Here I'm twisting the red to create a loop and then they'll be intersecting again with the green. A scalloped uh, lace like this or any fancy laces that have kind of one plain edge and one edge that's fancier or scalloped or designed um, the uh, the uh, design side is called the head side and the more plain side is called the foot side Here I'll be joining the two red sets together using half stitches again. Again, these are made by um, twisting or crossing uh, each set together and then um, crossing it with the other set in various ways to kind of create a braided effect. And then you keep doing the stitches uh, to follow the pattern. And 
here I'm going to intersect the two red sets with the two blue sets and this stitch is going to be called a lazy join. That's how you intersect um, four or more sets of thread together. And this is the finished sampler. And I hope you enjoyed the bobbin lace making process.